So we notice on our Tesla that the uh, air pressure when cold is not super balanced. We got 43, 42, 40, 41. Ideally, all of these should be 42. So we're gonna just add a little air to the right side. To do that, you have a 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter thing down here. We're gonna push that in to power up our, our pump. And we'll put in the amount of air we need and hook it up. All right, we got our pump all set. We're gonna take off the air, air uh, cap. Put on this one and we'll spin it on real quick. So I'm gonna set this for 42 pounds. There we go. And then I'm gonna, this model, I'm gonna turn this on and off. Let that get up to 42. Okay, so we just hit 42. So now we're just going to spin that off, and then we'll do the same for the front tire. Just going to put the little protective cap back on. All right, got it. All right, let's do the front. We'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to get one of these digital air pumps. These are really good. That's uh, put an Amazon link for you. All right, so on this one, we're gonna say 42 pounds. Turn the yellow switch on and off. And that'll pump up and we have 42 pounds all the way around cold for all four tires. So the pump's already at 42, but it'll keep going a little longer because when you take that out, you're gonna lose a little bit of pressure. So it's bringing it up slightly more than what you requested. There we go. So now it's 42. So we'll spin that out and then we'll be done. And we're just putting the cap back on there. Remember that if your pressure is a little bit off, just driving it for a while, the friction will heat up the air inside and your pressure should come up at least a couple of pounds. So it's best to do this when it's cold and that way you get a nice accurate reading and you can get all four tires at 42.